Welcome to the old city of Famagusta. Right now I'm riding through the moat. Just outside the old city walls built by the Venetians in preparation for the Ottoman conquest. Intended to keep the Ottomans away, they ended up keeping the Ottomans at bay for only 11 months. But eventually the Ottomans came in and conquered it. Very nice bastion here in the corner. Incredibly impressive fortifications, really. Imagine this moat full of water as well. It would have been quite a intimidating conquest in the medieval times. Eventually at some point there'll be a gate and I can enter the old city. Here's the gate, and we're in. Some ruins immediately, that's cool. Cycling here, North Cyprus, Turk, Red Crescent, 1974. That was the year of the conquest. 50 years ago at the time of recording, in 2024. kind of building built into the walls over here. Let's have a look. Just the storeroom of sorts. Some pallets. Nothing much. I'd love to get the view from the top of these walls. Let me try climbing up here. So there's the big port that made this city the richest in the Mediterranean. The deepest port in Cyprus, so capable of handling the largest ships. Even today it processes the majority of North Cyprus's cargo. Very cool. Got a nice little sporting complex over there. A gigantic ruined church over there. Huge cathedral converted into a mosque. Let's go check that out. Turkish bath here. Gothic cathedral transformed into a mosque. Have you ever seen anything like this? 
This is a church from the 1300s, transformed into a mosque after the Ottomans conquered it in the 1570s. It's truly incredible. I've never seen anything so clearly. A church, a full-on cathedral, transformed into a mosque. How special. front entrance to a palace. Just a large monumental gateway now. This old city is so full of ruins, it's incredible. Used to be known as the city of 365 churches because apparently they had a church for every day of the year. They found that the number of churches measured the city's wealth, so they were sure to have as many as they could. Look at that headless lion statue there. Cannons. Tomb of Venus. Another ruined church over there, and another one. So, so many ruined churches here. Wonder if this one's been converted into a mosque too. I think it has. Looks like you can walk in. All these churches were seemingly built a perfectly 90 degrees to facing Mecca, so. Everybody just has to pray facing the side of the church. What a beautiful apse. I've been seeing so many ruined churches. It's almost surreal to see one intact like this. These ancient churches are everywhere here. Can you see inside this one? Doesn't look like it. an ancient place. You can see why they called it the city of 365 churches now. Apparently this used to be the richest city in all of Europe, or at least its citizens per capita were the most wealthy, as it was a trading hub between the entire Levant and the rest of Western Europe, especially during the republics of Venice and Genoa and the earlier Byzantine era. Here's the inside of the old city walls. Like we've got another ruined church up here. Of course. This one's fenced off. Interesting. How beautiful. What have we got up here? Yet another. This is the Carmelite church. This one's fully in ruins. What a ruin. This is a spectacular one. A 
I've got to get a look inside here. Oh, wow. What an incredible medieval nave. building over here, small chapel. Nice, fully intact. Bastion over here. Awesome place to ride a bike. Very nice bastion, good reverse angle on the walls to take out any attackers. These walls survived an 11th month siege from the Ottoman Empire before Famagusta finally capitulated. That's pretty impressive honestly, almost a full year they allowed this city to hold out. Stairs. Huh. A way out to the moat. I wonder if when the moat was full, this whole staircase was flooded out at the bottom. Probably. Incredible. We've got this little channel here. I'm wondering if this is where they poured hot oil or something. Or, actually, judging by this, it's probably just a drainage ditch for rainwater so it didn't flood out up here, draining directly into the moat. Nice.
church over here. Check that out. Looks like the winged lion of the Venetians. Interesting. Their insignia. Look at this beautiful ruined church. It's an incredible ruin here on the side of the road. This place is mind blowing. So smoothed over and eroded. The Lion of San Augusta. Looks like there's a nice stairway up onto this bastion. The key to these bastions' defensive capability was their ability to see the outside of the walls, fire down on any attackers or siege equipment moving up, any ladders, siege towers, things like that. And the angles of these walls are designed to deflect cannonballs, so they were built in an era of gunpowder, designed specifically to repel the Ottomans who were big on gunpowder, and they were the ones that introduced it to Europe. Another incredible cathedral ruin. This place is something else. Oh wow, what a nave. These column bases. see some frescoes on the walls here. Very faded. Little passageway back here. Interesting. Just a little niche. I wonder what this was for. Anyone who knows a lot about churches, you can tell me in the comments, please. Little side building down here. Friday prayers. That's what's going on. All right. This has been the old city of Famagusta. The nicest ruined churches I've ever seen, honestly. 
didn't quite get to all 365 of them, but I think I've seen the main ones. I'll see you on the next one.